the master's program in uh, urban science policy and planning, I think, like like many urban social problems and their likely solutions, is is multidisciplinary in scope. I think it's very analytical in its content, and I think it's deeply questioning of urban social processes um, in its nature. Being based in Southeast Asia, I think, is very interesting as well. You know, you're talking about one of the most dynamic regions in the world. The fact that people are still being drawn to cities speaks to their underlying power in a lot of ways, cultural power, uh, economic power, but it's also places that are, I think, uh, home to already great and rising um, social disparities as well that are going to create some real problems in the future. My course is really about kind of trying to understand uh, where the different trade-offs are between, say, growth and efficiency in the city, which is, you know, is an extremely important goal to pursue, but how that might need to be traded off with other concerns such as uh, inclusiveness or equity. Because all of this really increases the role of the, the importance of the role of the planner and the practitioner in being able to make not just informed decisions, but you know, also recognizing the inherent you know, values, social values that are embedded in different policy choices and interventions in the, in the urban system. Whether it's congestion, whether it's pollution, whether it's in, inadequate well-paying jobs, discrimination, segregation, uh, many of these problems are still with us. Why? And uh, so I suppose I would like to uh, have students really deeply question that and stand up for you know, why they think you know, that is still the case and to, and to work to you know, really solve some of those long-standing systemic problems.